Did you guys know that one of the benefits of the Hardware 3 upgrade is that you get higher quality Tesla cam video? I didn't, so let's check it out. So I have two clips pulled up on my laptop here, one of them from before I got Hardware 3 and one from after. So this is a rear camera clip from after can see it's 1280 by 960 resolution, 36 frames per second, for a total file size of 39 megabytes at a data rate of 5.25 megabits per second. This is a very similar clip, similar conditions, bright sunny day, from before Hardware 3. Same resolution, 1280 by 960, Frames per second is 35.68, so a little lower, but still pretty close to 36. Data size, though, is only about 30 megabytes, not 40. And that's at a data rate of about 4 megabits per second. So that's really the big difference here, is their data rate has increased from about 4 to about 5.25. So let's see how that really changes things. If we look at this older clip, it's kind of a mess. The sky is blocky. The hillside here is just a mess of blurriness. The road, it's just blocky. And then if you look at my license plate here, it's also pretty blocky. If I go to the newer clip, I mean, just look at the difference between the license plates here. That looks almost decent. The road definitely still doesn't have a lot of detail, but it's nowhere near as blocky as it was before. And same thing for like the sky and the horizon here, the trees. Things are just a lot less blocky than they were before. If we look over at a side camera, very similar. Like pay attention to the mirror here. The lines on the mirror are much straighter, where here they're more jagged. We have a tree here. Can see a lot more detail in the leaves compared to this other tree. It's a lot blockier. Same thing running down the side of the car here. This curve is a lot smoother. So yeah, just overall better. And we're seeing the same thing over here, 4 megabits per second, 30 megabyte file on that older one. On the front view, we're still seeing the same 5 and a quarter megabits versus 4 megabits. And especially in these two clips, I mean, there is a big difference. This tree, these trees, you know, there's just a lot more detail where this has big blocks in it. So definitely an upgrade there. I wasn't really expecting that when I got Hardware 3, but it's definitely welcome. The quality's still not as good as some aftermarket dash cams, there's no doubt. License plates can still be a little hard to make out from a distance, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? And it's really nice that we have four different cameras and a system that's built into the car, so there's nothing extra hanging down from your windshield, or anything like that. The only real downside that I can see to this is, of course, it's going to use more storage space. Where the 30 megabyte clips would use about 8 gigabytes per hour of video, this now uses about 10. So that means a 128 gigabyte card used to be able to store 16 hours, now it can only store about 13. But hey, better quality is usually better, and I'll take it. I'll put a link in the description to our blog post where we give a pretty comprehensive guide to using Tesla Cam on MacBook, PC, Android, iOS, what hardware you need, how to set everything up. So if you're new to Tesla Cam in Sentry Mode, it's a good guide. Or if you just want to upgrade, check it out. So as always, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.